Welcome to the new financial year. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, coming into the new 2025-2026 financial year, and that means a new demo video for STP finalization. So I am going to try and make this as quick as possible uh, just to show you all how to do STP finalization for your payroll for 2025. So as always, I'm in the demo company and we just want to go up to payroll and single touch payroll. So when I say STP, obviously that means single touch payroll. So you can see here, there's a little box that says prepare your payroll for STP finalization. So I would recommend clicking on this checklist here which downloads a PDF that you can read through and check off as you do each of these tasks. Now, I'm not going to go through it with you, but just have a read and definitely make sure you double check um, all these things they, they want you to check out. So, um, and yeah, obviously you can tick it off as you, as you go. All right, highly recommend doing that because it, it cross checks all sorts of things uh, that you might have missed in way of uh, employee details or um, yeah, earnings matching certain accounts within your zero file. So yeah, definitely go through this sheet and check off everything before you start the process that I'm about to show you. So yeah, back to the single touch payroll screen. Uh, for ours here in our demo file, you can see that uh, we've got a couple things that need attention. So you've got pay runs here and there's four pay runs uh, that haven't been filed for the end of financial year. So if yours is saying this, you want to go to the pay runs and make sure all of these are filed before you run the end of financial year finalization. That's very important. Uh, you should know how to do that, so I'm not going to show you that today. Uh, so let's run through the important part of doing the STP finalization. So we, all you want to do is click on go to finalization. <clears throat> and yeah, it gives you a little warning here about needing to file at least one pay run. And then you want to go to proceed to finalization. All right. Now, obviously, when you go into this, all of them should say not final. Uh, I was reading something earlier that uh, you've still got to make sure all your employees are on um, STP phase two. If they're not, you will see a warning to the side of their name somewhere that they need to be um, Put, I put across to STP2. Uh, yeah, definitely should have done that by now, but if you haven't, uh, ensure that yeah, none of your employees say S, um, STP2 required um, off to the side here. Uh, it's good to note you can uh, toggle this to show terminated employees as well um, for the reportable fringe benefit amount as well. Uh, so. That doesn't make any difference for our demo file, so I'll leave it off for now. So what you want to do with all the employees here, uh, you can select them um, one by one, or you can bulk select them. So select all of them. You can do that by just clicking the one, the little box at the top, which will select all of them. Perfect for if you've got a lot of employees. So once that's done, uh, you can see obviously all your totals here and then um, ensuring that you've got a PDF um, and checked off everything and, and cross-checked all your accounts uh, following all the instructions on there. Uh, once you have done that, that's when you hit uh, submit finalization. And then, yeah, you'll get all these details and then you'll have to tick that box and then submit to the ATO. Pretty well works exactly the same as you file your pay runs every single week. 
All right, and as, as per previous years, and I'll say it again, uh, your employees don't get group certificates or payment summaries anymore as all the details for the entire year has gone direct to the ATO. So when it comes time to doing their individual tax return, uh, their accountant or if they're doing it themselves, uh, they won't need that certificate as it'll all be pre-filled from the ATO. Uh, so that's it. If you have any questions, you can comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And as always, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe uh, and like this video as well, because yeah, it just helps to grow our little channel that we're uh, trying to help everyone with.